Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be doing my Sammy Dress unbiased, unsponsored review. But y'all know whether or not a company sends me stuff or not, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell you how it is. I'm going to keep it real. I don't care like who it pleases or anything like that. I mean, if I don't like it, I don't like it. I'm going to tell you. I have no problem doing that because I feel that honesty is the best policy. And no, that's not a lie. It's the truth. So... Basically, I'm going to show you everything I got from Sammy Dress, and I'm going to do kind of a little mini review on it as well. Review on the customer service, the website, my experience, stuff like that. They did try to contact me like a couple months ago, asking if I wanted to do like a review on their products. Well, I mean, they didn't ask me that. I'm going to tell you exactly how they told me. We're offering you a $250 gift card to do a review on our products. I was like, oh, $250? So I downloaded the app on my phone. You know, did a little shopping, put some stuff in my cart so I have my list ready for whenever she asked what I wanted. So basically, she told me to create an account on the website. I did that, and she was going to put my gift card on my account that I gave her. So she gave me, actually, a $25 gift card. I was like, is this woman blind or something? Or does she really not know her numbers? Because $25 and $250 is a big difference. So I did contact her about that. She was like, after the first cooperation, we can do the 250 I was like, no, ma'am. That's not actually what I said. I'm trying to keep it rated G on here for obvious reasons. But I was like, you did not tell me that in this previous email. I do not mind going in on a business. Like, you tell me one thing and then you uh, switch it up to something else. You know what? That's a different story. I'm not about to get into that. But they told me $250 and they put $25 on my account. You can imagine I was pissed. So... I was like, you know what, I already don't like y'all. If I'm going to place the order, I'm going to do it myself, not through you. I'm not going to broadcast your clothes on my stuff unless I want to. So, I was just over it. A few months later, in August actually, like a month and a half ago, like August 17th, decided to place an order, finally. After I had done so much research on Google about the reviews, by the way, they have like one and two star ratings on Google if you search them. That, I mean, it's pretty horrible. I decided to take my chances anyway because they accept PayPal. And I've never had any trouble on PayPal. You know, you can file a claim, get your money back if you have any problems. Well, I mean, I've never had any problems at least. So I was like, okay, I'll take my chances. So, placing an order ended up being like $211. The merchandise was actually on $140. Uh, yeah, it's a different story. I'm gonna show you everything I got. I'm gonna kind of rent in between. So... You kind of get a feel for how I'm feeling. First, I did get two squirts. I got this black one. I also got a white one. The white one is in my dirty hamper right now because I wore an outfit a day like a few weeks ago. Um, I know. I've not washed my whites in a few weeks. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so embarrassing. That's a different story too. If you want to see an outfit of the day of the white squirt that I ordered with this one, check the information box. Another ridiculous thing I found was that this black squirt was $10.24. The white one was $5.94. I have no idea why the price difference exists. But, I mean, I really didn't pay attention to that, honestly. I just kind of added it to my cart and just rolled with it. Got two scarves, both of which I have no idea how to tie. I've never worn a scarf in my life. Want to kind of get into it, so I decided to experiment with these since they weren't that expensive. I got this one, which was two dollars and seventy six cents. Really pretty tribal print, and this one was also two dollars and seventy six cents. This one's a little bit short. No, it's not. It's just folded in half. <laughs> Thought it was shorter, but it's not. That one's pretty as well. It's more sheer. It's more like a less of a silky. Um, fabric like the other one was. They also have like a lingerie section. I decided to get this. I know some people are kind of, you know, iffy about showing lingerie on YouTube, but it's not like I'm wearing it. So I'm going to show it to you anyway. This was very cheap compared to other lingerie I've bought in the past. This was only a dollar eighty six cents. So I was like, why not? You know, first of all, I have no idea how to put this on. I think this goes here. I don't know. Um, I don't even know if this is going to fit me. But definitely don't have to worry about anything popping out because I don't have any boobs to begin with. So, I mean, I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> I got three pairs of harem pants because those are kind of season. These are more of like the drop crotch harem pants because they're lower in this area. 
they fall low in that area. Love the pockets on these. Kind of the where they are slanted. And it has like a little flat over the pocket, which I really like. That's on both sides. These come like almost to my ankles. These are one size fits all. That's another thing you have to be careful with on this website. Most of the stuff on there is one size fits all. Definitely check out those measurements on the charts because they are Chinese sizes, not American sizes. So definitely compare your measurements with their size charts to make sure you get the right fit. This is another pair of harem pants, pants that I got. Black and white is in season, so I decided, oh, I think it's in season. So I decided to get these pants. These have pockets as well. I love pants with pockets. Probably my downfall because I like to stuff them with stuff, like lipstick. Those were, I'm sorry, I forgot the prices. Gray ones I showed you were $9.16. The black and white ones I just showed you were $1.53. I also got these hair and pants. This is a third or fourth pair that I ordered. The fourth pair is on back order. It's going to be shipped to me probably in the next two or three weeks. These are orange and gray on the back. I love the separation of color on these. Has two back pockets, which I also like. And two front side pockets. And a drawstring. And if I haven't said it already, those were $9.16. Got this cute little wool jacket. It's not real wool, of course. It was only $9.16. It does wrinkle, so I'm going to kind of have to run an iron over it or something. I don't know. I hope I don't burn it. Or a steamer or something or another. But I've always wanted like a camel color of these. I have a black one already. And it's really nicely made, honestly. Like it has a little double breasted front. It has pockets on the side. The little button on there. Back of it has like a little flap at the top. Like a little trench coat. And it has the strap around the waist. So it's really nicely made. And I was pleased with the quality of that for $9 especially. I got this one. They had one that was uh, kind of more in like the UK flag colors. I decided to get the other one because I really don't have much pink in my closet. I'm trying to get out of that stage. I hate pink. I'm trying not to hate pink. So I did get a black, gray, and pink sweater. This was $10.24. Really thin material because I hate thick stuff during the winter time because I get hot. So I was trying not to get into the thick sweaters. This one... I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered. It's kind of hideous, so kind of. But it's also kind of cute. Kind of too cute. This is a little bit thicker. Has a little doll on the front. This one was $1.86. Maybe the prices would draw me, drew me to it. I don't know. This is the other sweater I got. It has the lipsticks on the front. I did not know that this was sequins before I ordered. I probably wouldn't have ordered it. I might have ordered it anyway. I did wear this in the outfit of the day. This is more one of those jumper sweaters. If you want to see your outfit of the day with this, just check the link in the information box. I did pair this with the white skirt that I had. I also got this belt. This little blue belt. This was $5.94. I haven't even opened it yet. And I'm currently waiting on some hair and pants, like I said. And also a clutch. Like a turquoise clutch. And those are on back order. So, I mean, I ordered it. I originally ordered August 17th or 18th, one or two, and they just sent me a shipping notification October 1st, so it's like a whole month and a half. The shipping is ridiculous, in my opinion. I mean, it's ridiculous, but it's acceptable, strictly because they don't lie to you. They don't tell you your stuff is going to ship in two weeks. They actually tell you it's going to take a month, where they told me it's going to take like a month or two before I get my stuff. If you tell me that it's going to take that long to ship, I don't have a problem with that. If you lie to me, there's going to be a problem with that. They just told me they were, you know, they were upfront with it. So I appreciate that. One thing that was ridiculous that, oh my God, I cannot believe I did this. My actual order was $147.37. And because the items are so cheap, I guess, that's still not a good enough reason. I paid $79 for shipping. I know. Moment of silence. That price is ridiculous. Oh my God. For the amount of time it takes for me to get my stuff, $79 is ridiculous. I mean, I kind of inquired about the price on the website before I emailed the person that originally BS'd me about some $250 gift card. She was like, um, shipping is very expensive from China. First of all, that's a lie because 
I shop on eBay all the time and I do not pay that much for shipping. So, I don't know. I didn't like her from the start. So, maybe she was just getting tired of me. She just made some BS up, you know. But the shipping, my stuff ended up being like $211. So, again, the shipping is ridiculous. If you do decide to place an order from this website, be prepared to wait for your stuff to get shipped to you. And also, try to negotiate the shipping price because that is ridiculous. Also, I noticed that the markup on these items changed quite drastically. Because that sweater I showed you with the lipsticks on it was $2.76 when I originally ordered it. When I went to add it onto my blog post for my outfit of the day, I saw it was marked up to $17. It's probably more than that now. That's crazy. Like, it jumped up $15 in a month and a half. No. All in all, I would shop from this website again. I would not pay that much for shipping again. I will argue that. Like, I will tell them, look, I ordered this much from y'all last time, and I paid this much for shipping. I'm not paying that much again. I do recommend paying with PayPal still, just because of the reviews I saw on Google. I just prefer PayPal because it's a lot safer. You know, it's a lot more secure. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Also, if you have any ideas of where I compare some of the stuff that I showed you in this video with, please let me know, and I will talk to all of you soon. Thanks for watching.